Hello, well, welcome to the F4 Gallery. I'm here today uh, with our new exhi exhibition and more importantly with our exhibitor himself, um, Doug King. My first question really on seeing this was what's inspired you to do this, Doug? Well, it's been a long journey. Um, the reason for including a couple of landscape prints in the, uh, in the collection is just to really try and tell the story of, of the inspiration. I started off by taking um, landscape prints like we all do, um, keeping them on my computer, never really looking at them again. But the few that um, I looked at and I liked just got multiplied. I've always been interested in the ephemera in nature, things that can never be seen again. So that involves turbulence, air, mm -hmm. water, movement, things like that. Um, and I decided to challenge myself and create a project which was around creating images that arose out of chaos but then only allowing them a singular existence so that they are never to be, they never can be repeated and um, they only exist the once so that everything here is absolutely unique. You haven't kept any of the no. original digital images now when no. you printed this up. I know and it kills me. It's scary. It kills, it kills me. <laughs> it's, um, you, 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 uh, I, I hate to tell you how many images I've lost yeah. through operator error, yeah. um, through um, subsequent damage. So, so these, which are absolutely beautiful and unique, but uh, I mean, they're smoke. I mean, how have you done this? Um, what, what, what well, is it? it's, in, it's, in, it's, it's investigating turbulence. I said it was about chaos. So these are macro photos using smoke or dust or other fine particles mm -hmm. to trace air movement, and then. Um, stimulating that air movement into turbulence using um, my own body movement or heat sources or something like that in a very very small area. All oh, right, then, so they're not big big no, trails of smoke. No, it's, it's, no. It's a small... These are these are macro photographs. So right. this this plume here is, was probably only three quarters of an inch high in reality. Okay, that's amazing. Amazing. And I can imagine that the turbulence, you don't need much to create no. different effects. Um, uh, a butterfly no. flapping its wings in China. Absolutely. Presumably. So if I sneeze in my studio, it takes about 15 minutes for everything to settle down again before I can start making new images. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is, all part of, this is all part of the joy for me of finding something which is genuinely ephemeral yeah. and then enjoying it for a period of time but letting it go. Yes. and maintaining that ephemerality. Yeah. Well, they do look absolutely fantastic. I think they look um, more stunning as, you know, up, up on the wall and there's, um, certainly as a collection, it's really striking. Mm. So uh, thank you very much for letting us have them. Well, thank you for letting me display. <laughs>